Functional fixedness is the inability to think of an object functioning other than its usual or customary way. It is a cognitive bias that are, involves a tendency to only think of objects in the way they were originally intended to be used. Functional fixedness is considered a barrier to problem solving. Here are a few ways to overcome functional fixedness. The original use of this hanger would to be put a blouse on top or you can hang pants at the waistband just like this. And that would be the original way the manufacturer made it to be used. But if you want to use it in a different way to overcome functional fixedness, you can hang a cookbook on the pants hanger and hang it on a cabinet knob. So that way you can use hands-free cooking and a clean counter and the pages will open wider. So everyone knows the original use of a sock is to obviously wear on your foot, but a new inventive way to use a sock is if you have an old sock, you can put it on your hand and clean your household surfaces with, or you could even polish your shoes with. And the best part is that you can either throw it in the wash and clean it, or you can just throw it out if you don't want it anymore. We all think of a cork as something to seal and reseal a wine bottle but we usually just throw it out once the wine bottle is done. But a great way to reuse the cork is to stick it at the end of a knife so that when you put it in your knife drawer, there's no fear of stabbing yourself when you put your hand in. So it's that time of year again where we use winter gloves to protect us from the cold outside. But a unique way to use them is you can cut the tips of the gloves off of the fingers and you take four of them and then you can flip a chair over and attach the four tips to the legs of a chair. You flip the chair back over and this way it will prevent from scuffing on your wooden floor and you can easily move it around with no problem. So if you ever have an injury and you need an ice pack and then you realize you don't have one, you can always go right to your freezer and get a bag of frozen vegetables and put it on your injury and you can use it just the same way that you'd use an ice pack. So I'm sure everyone has used this before, is to use a household butter knife as a makeshift screwdriver. And you probably done it a thousand times, but maybe not until now you realize that you are overcoming functional fixedness while doing it. A great way to use a red solo cup other than to just drink out of it is to put the end of your phone in the cup and use it as a speaker to amplify the music a lot louder. So if you ever run out of matches or you have one of those candles that are deep and you don't want to burn your fingers, a great way to do that is you can light the stove and you take a piece of spaghetti, uncooked spaghetti, and you light the piece of spaghetti. And it works as a great match.